Protein Synthesis Translation Inside the body, the process of translation occurs within every single cell. Each cell has a nucleus. After transcription, mRNAs move out of the nucleus and enter the cytoplasm. This mRNA strand acts as a template for protein synthesis. Present in the cytoplasm is an enzyme, aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. The enzyme macromolecule has two binding sites. One site recognizes the amino acid, methionine. This is followed by binding of the ATP molecule and release of pyrophosphate, resulting in activation of amino acid. Finally, tRNA and the activated amino acid bind together. This amino acylated tRNA is known as MET tRNA and is released from the enzyme. This marks the commencement of the first stage of protein synthesis, the initiation stage. During the initiation stage, a small subunit of ribosome binds to the mRNA strand. The mRNA strand is made up of codons, which are sequences of three bases. Then the ribosome subunit moves along the mRNA in five prime to three prime direction until it recognizes the AUG codon or the initiation codon. At this point, metTRNA, possessing the anti-codon UAC, pairs up with the AUG codon of the mRNA. Then a large subunit of ribosome combines with a small ribosomal subunit. The large subunit shows three sites, the aceptor site or the A site, the peptidyl site or the P site, the exit site or the E site. This whole unit forms the initiation complex. This is followed by the elongation stage. During this stage, another tRNA-carrying molecule of an amino acid approaches the mRNA ribosome complex and fits in the A site. Then a bond is formed between methionine and the amino acid molecule on the tRNA. As a result, MET-tRNA becomes deacylated. The ribosome then advances a distance of one codon and the deacylated tRNA shifts to the E site from where it dissociates. Meanwhile, another tRNA carrying amino acid molecule attaches to the A site. This is followed by the binding of the amino acid molecules. Repetition of this process leads to the formation of an amino acid chain. This event is called elongation. Finally, when the UAG codon or the stop codon reaches the A site, elongation is terminated. Termination is the last stage of protein synthesis. The chain of amino acid molecules is released from the ribosome. This released amino acid chain is the protein, and this part of protein synthesis is known as translation. Then the tRNA detaches from the mRNA. Ribosome detaches and dissociates into its small and large subunits. Summary. Protein synthesis shows that the first stage involves the binding of the MET tRNA to mRNA and the small subunit of the ribosome. The larger subunit of ribosome then combines with the small subunit. The second stage is the elongation stage. In this stage, the incoming aminoacyl tRNA fits in the A site. 
Then a bond is formed between methionine and the amino acid molecule on the tRNA. The process is repeated until a chain of amino acid molecules is formed. The last stage of protein synthesis is the termination stage. When the ribosome reaches the stop codon UAG, elongation stops and the newly formed amino acid chain, which is the protein macromolecule, detaches from the ribosome. Subsequently, ribosomal subunits, along with the tRNA, dissociate from the mRNA.